All right, this is episode number 92. Episode 92. I'm going to try to sprinkle in some football and basketball. I have a lot of baseball videos planned, as you see recently from some of my, my videos that I pushed out. We are in the middle of 21 giveaways in 21 days. My birthday is July 12th. Fantasy football. So when June and July come, I start thinking about fantasy football. So I have a list brought to you by the fantasy football calculator of the quarterbacks. Then I have running backs and receivers and tight end. So about a week before NFL starts, we have college football starts. This is a cool product if you haven't seen it before. So Prism does the, the ones with the real jerseys, NFL jersey licensed product. We also see collegiate. So if you're a fan of college football, you might enjoy where you can get the same players at half the price if you're a college football fan. And 2020 would be a good investment, I feel, with some of the 2020 quarterbacks that are making a splash in the NFL. So Herbert and Joe Burrow, and there's a whole bunch of other quarterbacks and players like CeeDee Lamb and Justin Jefferson that will be good for years. So I saw this lot, thought it was a pretty good deal. You pay $20 a blaster. So still it's gone up twice as much as it was at retail stores. But this lot, for example, included six pink Pulsar packs. I don't know the value of those, maybe three, four dollars a piece, maybe five or ten, I don't know. But I thought that was a pretty good deal. I just saw that ended about a month ago. So what I'm gonna do for the giveaway, you are gonna pick one of these cards. And if you happen to pick the Brady or Mahomes, well, you got yourself a $10 card probably. So Tom Brady, and I'll leave a couple of these on screen while I look at the list. Matt Ryan, and the good thing about these is if they get traded, they still have the same uniform. Christian McCaffrey, Jalen Hurts, has got the rookie card logo since it is a 2020 rookie. Kyler Murray, Shaquan Barkley, Penn State, Baker Mayfield, Zeke Elliott, Patty Mahomes, AJ Brown, Shaquan Barkley, Chris Godwin, so I just pulled out the color, so all the cards don't look like this. You might get maybe three or four or five of these per blaster box out of 30 cards. Baker Mayfield. So I have never bought a Prism draft pick pack before. These are ones that I've accumulated just with collections that I've bought. So I'm going to pull out a couple. I think if we're going to look for favorite out of these... I think on the screen we'll put a little Kyler. We'll put Jalen Hurts. Um, Tom Brady. And we gotta go Patrick Mahomes. All right, so I'll put these four on the screen. Cause I think those are the four best ones there. We can move that. All you gotta do is random comment. Since we're doing fantasy football, it could be an underrated, overrated, who you looking to draft this year, if you do fantasy football. So these are the, the top 30 quarterbacks, according to Fantasy Football Calculator. And I always do a PPR league. This doesn't affect the quarterback position, but you can do quarterback, you can do six points or, or four points for touchdowns, depending on the league you do. I guess I prefer four because I'd rather get higher point totals for receivers and running backs, but that's my preference. Some are big into quarterbacks for collecting cards. I actually lean towards for football, running backs and receivers. So when I invest money in cards, it's usually going to be baseball, but it's going to be the running backs and receivers that played when I was in high school. That's kind of what I, what I go for for investments. You're not gonna see me invest a whole lot of money on these new quarterbacks. That's not my interest. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go arrow down or arrow up if I personally would draft them higher. 
And I feel like there's a lot of correlation between fantasy football and the sports card hobby. So if I do an up-down arrow here, I would say Patrick Mahomes, Kyler Murray, and then the third one. So when I do an arrow down, I think I would draft them lower. So I am actually down on Lamar Murray and Justin Herbert. I would bring up Russell Wilson and Aaron Rodgers. I think Tom Brady is perfect where he's at. Could he get four or five touchdowns in a game? Yes. Is he the one I'd want in the playoffs? Yes. But why would they keep him in for four quarters every single game if they're up by a couple touchdowns? I hope to see him, Tom Brady, play for another three, four years. I don't think he'll get 30 touchdowns this year. I think it's more like 25. And if they're up big, they're not going to keep him in. There's no reason for it. Dak, I, I'm a little more down on him. So I think if I were to make this list, I would go Patrick Mahomes, Kyler Murray number two. And I'm really shocked that Aaron Rodgers is that low. He's going to play. He's going to get 40 touchdowns. So that's kind of where I'm at. Joe Burrow, if he is ready week one, I would put him in the top 10. I would actually, in the next five years, I would rather have Joe Burrow cards, rookie cards, than Justin Herbert. Or Dynasty League, I would rather have Joe Burrow over Justin Herbert. That's why I sold all my Justin Herberts last year. And the select rookies that I just got in that blaster box, I'm selling. And that auction ends tonight, along with the Giannis autograph auction ends tonight. The Giannis autograph, I would love to get more than 350, 400 but I could see it going for 600. The third game in the series happens tonight. In regards to the Justin Herbert, if I get one 100 or 120, I'd be happy. I'm only in $50 out of that blaster box, I think in trade, $50 in trade. So anything over 50 for that uh, Justin Herbert lot is kind of profit there. Anything over about 250 is profit, profit for the Giannis. I wasn't in it for that much. Trevor Lawrence, long-term, yes. This year, I don't think he'll be top 20. Trevor Lawrence will be 20, 22, 24. He'll be in that area, I feel. He's going to miss Julio Jones. So then I got I to gotta swap the Ryan Tannehill. Ryan Tannehill, I think, will be a top 10 quarterback in fantasy. And you can still get his top chrome rookies for cheap. Very cheap. He's in a Dolphins uniform in his rookies, but I know I got three of his chrome refractors last year for really cheap. Deshaun has to be off this list completely. I don't think he'll play the first six weeks. If none of the accusations happen, if he didn't do it, I think he did it. That many people can't agree on the same thing. In a different scenario, I would have Patty Mahomes, Deshaun Watson, Kyler Murray. But he's off the list. Yeah, I don't think he'll be back until at least halfway through the year. Or he should, shouldn't be back. Kirk Cousins, I think he's a solid 15, top 15 pick. Justin Jefferson, Baker Mayfield. I'm actually going to bring him lower than that. I am not a Baker Mayfield fan. Jameis Winston, bring that guy up. He's got experience. He's got Sean Payton as a coach. I have faith in Jameis Winston. Ryan Tannehill seems to put stats up whenever he plays. If he can put stats up for the Dolphins, he can do that as well, as well for Washington football team. I think we're going to see the end of Derek Carr's career coming up pretty soon. I think these next couple years in Las Vegas for Derek Carr, I think will be his last two. I think we'll see him getting replaced in a couple years. Taysom Hill should not be on this list. 
Jameis Winston's doing to do his thing. Cam Newton, I think, in a couple weeks will be replaced. Sam Darnold, I just feel, will be injured. That's my prediction. Sam Darnold will be injured before week one. Tebow should not be on the list. And you got to bring Jared Goff up a little bit. Daniel Jones is fine there. Ben Roethlisberger is fine there. Tua is fine where he's at. Carson Wentz. Matthew Stafford. I'm going to say this list was pretty generous on this guy. I'm going to go a little bit lower for Jalen Hurts. So I have a lot of movement on this list. The only ones I have steady are Patrick Mahomes, Tom Brady, Matthew Stafford, Carson Wentz, Tua, and Big Ben, Daniel Jones. So those are the ones I think are pretty good where they're at. I do have some up and down arrows. I'd be interested to see where you guys think. So unlike basketball and baseball, I see a lot of correlation in between, between the fantasy football game and sports card rookie prices. All right, next up we got Christian McCaffrey, Delvin Cook, Alvin Kamara, Shaquan, and Derek rounding out the top five. I am down on Christian McCaffrey. I think he's had a different quarterback, seems every week for the last couple of weeks, or he's been injured. There's no consistency there. I'm going to say Delvin Kick Cook is going to be the number one uh, running back this year. I think he'll crack 2,000 yards the same year that Derek Henry cracks it I'm gonna say this is the year for the running backs at least I'm hoping so there's an extra game this year so I think we're gonna see two running backs get 2,000 yards that would be amazing so for me personally I gotta put Delvin Cook and Derrick Henry one and two I have to both teams have great wide receivers a veteran quarterback I'm gonna say one and two so it looks closer to the predictions maybe last season. I'm down on Christian McCaffrey. Would I draft him at number five? Yes, but I would rather have some other players. Alvin Kamara, I gotta bring down. I think if I were to make the list, I would say Delvin Cook, Derrick Henry, Shaquan Barkley is gonna come back this year. Alvin Kamara, then Christian McCaffrey. I'm going number five for Christian McCaffrey. I think Zeke is fine there. I'm a little bit lower on Nick Chubb. I'm not a huge fan of the Cleveland Brown offense. I'm gonna try to avoid Cleveland anytime I do a fantasy football draft. I usually do three, four, or five. Before I had kids, I probably had eight fantasy football drafts, and I did draft kings, but a little less time with a, being a parent. Jonathan Taylor. Uh, I'm gonna say a little bit lower. I'm going to go the safer route. If I had to pick Antonio Gibson or Jonathan Taylor, I would go Antonio Gibson. Eckler. Yeah, Eckler and Jonathan Taylor I would bring down a little bit. So I got three in a row that I'd bring down and three that I'd bring up. I would actually swap those two sets of players. I am way big on Clyde edwards Elaire. I would put him in the top six. I would say right after Christian McCaffrey, I would go Clyde Edwards Alaire. J.K. Dobbins, I would put in the top ten. I would rather have J.K. Dobbins than Austin Eckler. Me personally. Now all of these young players, with the only exception of Delvin Cook and Derek Henry, I have no interest in their rookie cards. I just don't. I don't. So, I think the optic cards for Henry and Cook look pretty cool, but I wouldn't really look for any prism cards of any of these. Clyde Edwards Alaire, I think the Donruss card looks really cool. I bought some of those. That's about it. I would try, if I had... Elliot, if I had Saquon, if I had Calmera, if I had McCaffrey, I would sell all of the, the higher end stuff before the year starts. I would hold on to Henry and Cook into the year, or Clyde, Edger, Clyde Edwards Alaire into the year a little bit. Huh. I was 
pretty burned on Chris Carson last year. I'm gonna lose a little bit of ink with the glossy of the pictures. I think Melvin Gordon should be off the list. I don't see a whole lot of changes from here. James Robinson put up some really good stats last year, but I think they'll have a different person every year. I don't think he'll be consistently the person. I don't have a whole lot of input on the rest of these. So if we look back in a year from now, I'm sure some of these will crack the top 10. I know we do have a rookie right here. For dynasty rankings, he's really high. So I guess if we're gonna take a chance on somebody, I would say well, that dude. I don't trust the San Francisco running back committee as of late. I think in the Pittsburgh offense, anytime that you have a running back and receiver for Pittsburgh, there's a good chance that could be a top 10 play. But, all right, let's look at receivers and then tight ends. Curious to see how you guys would rank these. So ESPN had a little bit different rankings. I am a huge fan of Justin Jefferson, but I would not bring him up. I think number nine for a second year player is pretty generous. I would put him in the top 12. I think nine is maybe a little bit too high in my predictions and then along with that I would bring Thielen up so I think they're kind of both in the middle here because they're not going to be consistent it might be Thielen has a big game and then Justin Jefferson has a big game same with AJ Brown and Julio Jones I try to avoid one of those if they're pretty equal in comparison or Mike Evans and Chris Godwin when you have two big names, it gets so frustrating when you, you decide which one you're gonna play for the week, unless you can find a scenario where you have both. But, all right, let's start with CeeDee Lamb. I feel like with Dak healthy, he'll be a top 10. I think Justin Jefferson and CeeDee Lamb are really close. I actually think that CeeDee Lamb will have better stats this year than Justin Jefferson. Which stinks, but. Robert Woods, I'm going to bring down, and I'm going to bring up Cooper Cup. He gets more catches, so if I do points per reception, I would predict he'd be higher. If we look at a couple Pittsburgh receivers, I think Deontay Johnson is where he should be. Chase Claypool, I bring up a little bit, not much. I think Beckham... I think is one of the most overrated players for a while. And I have no faith in the Browns offense. I think he'll struggle to reach the top 30. Um, let's go back up to the top. I think Diggs has had some great games. Being from Minnesota, the miracle game, great season of Buffalo. I don't think Buffalo is going to be where they were last year. I just don't. Ridley, without the help of Julio, I don't find it hard for him to be there. I really want to see Seattle break out this year. Russell Wilson and DK Metcalf. So I would love it if DK Metcalf is the top three receiver. So I'm going to actually say he's higher than six. Julio, I think the Tennessee Titan... Roster is huge this year, adding Julio Jones. A lot of weapons for Ryan Tannehill, but I'm bringing stats down this year. I don't think Amari Cooper would make the top 25, so I would much rather have CeeDee Lamb over Amari Cooper in my book. Kenny Galladay, let's bring him in the top 15. Uh, Tyler Lockett never interests me. Jamar Chase, let's take a chance on a rookie. Let's go top 15 for Jamar Chase. So Joe Burrow's got some nice targets in Cincinnati. So I think that is definitely assuming that Joe Burrow is healthy. 
Jacksonville. I don't know who's going to be thrown to for Trevor Lawrence, but I'm not a buy on Jacksonville's offense. They're going to need a couple of years. And Trevor Lawrence is going to have all this hype and then disappointment after four weeks. So do not buy Trevor Lawrence cards. There'll be other players in the draft that will be better investments. He's already priced way too high. And there's very few stuff that have come out yet. Michael Thomas. Mm. He's got to come back. Come back, come back. Um, I think that's pretty good. I'm big into Mike Evans. If I were to spend money on rookies or autographs, it would be Mike Evans, Justin Jefferson, C.D. Lamb, Adam Thielen because he's local, went to Mankato State, which is two hours uh, north, southeast, west of Rochester where I live. So I love his story. Sometimes I bid on Odell Beckham autographs, RPAs, because they're cheap. And that was once a really expensive card. So I do bid on Odell. I haven't won any Odell Beckhams, but I've bid on them. Um, yeah, Matt, I, there's really no... I, don't, I haven't bought any DK Metcalf. I think he's really good. I bought an, RP, an autograph of autograph rookie of... Michael Thomas, but all right, let's look at tight ends. The last list. Now, a lot of these names, if you're not huge into football, you might not know these names. I would say recognize maybe 75% of them. I'm not gonna, ooh, he just saw fly, making his first, his YouTube debut. I feel like we should name it. How about Kelvin? We'll honor Kelvin Johnson. All right, Travis Kelsey, I don't think there's anybody that would dispute that. Travis Kelsey is currently the king of tight end position. George Kittle, just a little bit of inconsistency there. I, am, I agree with the top three. I'm going to bring down Mark Edwards. I'm not huge into Baltimore offense as well. I'm going to say that if we're doing, if he was... 10 years younger, obviously Gronkowski would be there. If it was a uh, playoff game, I would put him on the top three. But there, I don't think he's going to get a whole lot of use throughout the regular season. So I wouldn't draft him in fantasy sports. So TJ Hawkinson has a new, new quarterback. I don't think Jared Goff is anywhere close to Matthew Stafford. Um... I got to go down on Rob, Rob Gronkowski. He's not a good fantasy player. Would I buy his rookie cards? Yes. Autograph rookie cards? Yes. I wouldn't draft him in fantasy football. If you can get Irv Smith Jr., I think that's a steal. Kyle Rudolph is gone now. Consistent quarterback, great running game, great receivers. Irv Smith, I could see, get, here's my prediction, 12 or 10 plus touchdowns bold prediction all right Kyle Pitts let's do something way different and let's have a tight end be a rookie of the year candidate that'd be cool um I don't know if I have any more thoughts about the rest of these guys Kind of burned on Zach Ertz in fantasy football recently. Kind of burned on Evan Ingram. Let's put Kittle. Let's put Kelsey Kittle, Darren Waller. Hmm. I think that's good. I think we'll go with that. Sounds good. All right, thanks for watching. Be a little curious about what you would do if you ever go on Fantasy Football Calculator, they do have the movers and changers. So recently, he's gone up a little bit. Kyle Pitts, Jamar Chase, and then the other ones, the ones that have gone down. I don't know much about Elijah Mitchell. That's a new name. All right. Am I an expert in fantasy football? No. 
I was good for about three or four years because I was constantly drafting running backs above everybody else. So I always got the years of Ray Rice, Jamal Charles, LaShawn McCoy. Those were probably my best years because I was high on those. If they caught a lot of passes, I drafted those guys early. And I was really good at fantasy football for about three, four years. That strategy does not work as well right now because the game changes. There's a lot of quarterback stats, touchdown passes. So I haven't changed my game and I haven't done really well. So that's my fault. And I'm going to stick with what I think is right and I'm going to lose money. Boom. That's the advice I give you. All right. Thanks for watching. Pick a card. Any of the cards I showed you if you want to win some free stuff. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.